Have you seen the beautiful lattice top pies and wondered how you can make that in your own home for your family and friends? Well, I'm Amy from A Red Spatula and I'm here to break down this process for you and show you that it's actually gonna be a lot simpler than what you might think. Okay, so with this method, what we're gonna do is we actually create the lattice topping separate from the pie itself. So you'll start by turning over your pie pan that you're gonna use and you trace it onto a piece of parchment paper. This is gonna create a lattice top that's a little bigger than your pie, but that's great because we wanna be able to trim it down. Go ahead and flip that over and that's what we're gonna use as our, as our template. Now you're gonna take your pie dough and roll it into a rectangle if you've done homemade pie dough. If you've used store-bought, then just go ahead and it's kind of the same process, just not in a rectangle. Now, this is a little anal, I recognize that, but I actually take a quilt ruler. I have one in my house because I used to do a lot of quilting and I actually measure my pie strips. I know, I know. I like one inch strips. I love the way they look. They're not too thin and they're not too thick, but of course you can cut this lattice any size that you want. And uh, go ahead and cut this all the way up. And once your strips are cut, then we're gonna start assembling the lattice together. So you bring back your piece of parchment, make sure it's flipped over because you don't want the pencil side up. And you can still see the circle in there, of course. Now you're gonna lay all of, I start horizontal is what I do. So I take all my horizontal strips and I lay them out over the circle. You can put as much of a space in there as you like. And this might just be a trial and error to see what you know what you want it to look like. <clears throat> but I put about an eighth to a quarter of an inch in between mine. Now, once all of these are out, you're gonna start on your vertical strips. And what you do is you peel back every other strip and then you're gonna add in a vertical one. And once that one's in, and you can kind of tuck it in like I did there, you're gonna fold those back over the top of this strip it's just like if you ever did this in elementary school. Now next, we're gonna alternate, and so we're gonna do every other strip, the opposite ones. And then again, we're gonna add in our vertical strip and then fold it back over. And we're gonna repeat this process until the whole area is done. Okay, and then once it's finished, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna trim up these edges here. It's a rough trim, don't stress about it too much. And then you're gonna take this and put it on the back of a pie. I flipped over a cookie sheet or a baking sheet, put it onto that and it goes right into the freezer. If you want, this isn't necessary of course, but I also like to add some decorative elements to mine. So I just cut out some leaves out of extra pie dough. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start forming our bottom crust. So roll that out a few inches bigger than what your pie pan is gonna be. And I have a video all about this that I'm gonna link at the end. I like to fold over my pie crust because we love it so much. It's a great flaky crust. So I fold it over, you do this all the way around, and then what we're gonna do is crimp the edges. Okay, here we are at the end. And so once it's once you finish the bottom pie crust, we're gonna fill it. I used an apple pie filling. You can use whatever you want, of course. You're gonna spoon this in and then you kind of just level it out. Cause what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay that lattice pie top right on top. So if you need to trim down that pie top and I just do that with a pizza cutter, it's very easy and you just eyeball this. <clears throat> and we're gonna set this right on top of the pie. Now you'll notice that with this method, you have a separation between the lattice top and the edge. If that bothers you, just take a rope of pie dough and put it all the way around and that'll connect the two pieces. It doesn't bother me. You can also use your decorative elements too to fill that in if you use hearts or leaves or whatever it is that you're using. Now I like to egg wash mine too. That's what's gonna give it that beautiful shine. And just take a little bit of time here to make sure it gets all in all the cracks. And then after you've egg washed, cause you wanna make sure that these leaves can stick, you can go ahead and put your leaves on 
lay them out however you like if you're gonna use them, and then you're just gonna egg wash the top of these as well. Now after it's brushed with egg wash, I like to sprinkle it with sugar. I like a little sugar topping, but also I kinda like that texture of the sugar on the top. And then once this is done, it goes into the oven. Now it's time for you to take a break. You've done your work. Kick your feet up and relax until that beautiful pie is done. All right, and here is your finished pie. It's golden brown, it's beautiful. The flaky crust is just perfect on top and I'm gonna show you how I slice it. Now you can see, even though there's a separation between the lattice top and the bottom, it still holds itself together once the, cake, or the pie is cooled. You can go ahead and remove it and enjoy it because you deserve it. Okay, so I realize there's a few steps in this process, but isn't it easier than what you thought it was gonna be? If you try this method out or if you're excited to try it out, I would love to hear your comments in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe.